Hello, my name is Steve Miller, and I'm a product manager at MathWorks. In this video, we're going to look at vehicle simulation in Simulink using the Simscape vehicle templates. The Simscape vehicle templates provide a configurable vehicle model, a MATLAB app to help you set up your vehicle and the event you wish to run, as well as a set of customizable component libraries so you can build a model that meets your needs. The model of the vehicle is built up using physical connections. This makes it easy to change the architecture of your vehicle, such as changing the powertrain to have three motors instead of two. Because we're using physical connections, it's easy to adjust the level of fidelity of your model. You can use these libraries to model passenger vehicles, trailers, buses, and vehicles with more than two axles. In this video, we're going to look at a few of the top 10 use cases for vehicle simulation. The first use case we'll look at is exploring hybrid powertrain architectures. Our model is configured to have a two motor architecture, one motor powering the front axle, one powering the rear. We'll use the MATLAB app to configure it for a three motor architecture. Once the model is configured, we can look at the active variant. We can see an electrical network with three motors and a battery. A cooling system ensures that the components all stay within their rated temperature. At this level, the three green lines represent the mechanical connections to the vehicle body. This animation shows a test of 30 laps where we look at the effectiveness of the cooling system. In the bad design, we've placed the sensor poorly and the battery temperature gets too high. The second use case we'll look at is tuning regenerative braking algorithms. We have configured our model to have an electric powertrain. We'll use the MATLAB app to reconfigure the powertrain using a preset we'll use a fuel cell powertrain, which has a single battery connected in parallel to a fuel cell. Here you can see the battery. The regenerative braking algorithm will charge this battery when we are braking. In this subsystem, you can see the regenerative braking algorithm implemented in Simulink. This animation shows us running a 30 lap test and we can see that the battery charge is going down. We can extend the range of this vehicle if we improve our regenerative braking algorithm. The next use case we'll look at is developing active chassis controls. In our model, we have an idealized braking system. We can use the MATLAB app to swap in a hydraulic braking system. In addition to the mechanical network, which has calipers for the rotors, we have a hydraulic network for the pistons and valves that control the pressure at the wheels. We can configure the control algorithm for the brakes to use an anti-lock braking algorithm. If we go into the model, we can see that a state flow chart is used to control the opening and closing of the valves at the wheels. This allows us to control the pressure of the wheels and prevent the wheels from locking up. If we use this anti-lock braking system on a split mu surface, we can see that the cycling of the valves prevent the wheels from locking up and it enables the driver to retain control of the vehicle. The next use case we'll look at is identifying trailer stability limits. The components in the Simscape vehicle templates can be used to model one, two, three, or other multi-axle vehicles. We will configure our model to have a three-axle truck. Our truck uses the same components as you've seen, but has three axles and 10 wheels. We also have a two-axle trailer, and our trailer has a model of liquid sloshing in the tank. We're going to use this model to test the stability limits of our trailer. This animation shows the tanker accelerating up to speed, and then the driver needs to execute an evasive maneuver. Because the liquid in the tank can slosh, we'll see that during the evasive maneuver, the vehicle almost tips over. The next use case we'll look at is validating ADAS algorithms. Engineers at the M-City testing facility wish to evaluate ADAS algorithms with respect to passenger comfort. So we will configure our event for the M-City test facility, and using the MATLAB app, we'll add a few passengers to our vehicle. The passengers that we add have sensors placed on their body, and we can use these sensors to measure the amount of acceleration and jerk that they feel. These animations show the result of a test drive through the facility. You can see that the driver is moving around, and we can use the measurements from simulation to evaluate the discomfort that he feels. You can see that we are also animating the results of our simulation in Unreal via the interface in Vehicle Dynamics block set. These are just a few of the things that you can do with the Simscape vehicle templates. 
If you'd like to try these files yourself, you can download them directly from the file exchange. We are maintaining these models for MATLAB releases 18B and higher, so even if you're not in the current release of MATLAB, you can still benefit from these examples. And because these files are hosted on GitHub, we can react quickly to requests. So if there are features or capabilities you'd like to see us add, please let us know. Thank you.